Known as the godfather of liquor in some parts of the state, Billy Williams' name is almost synonymous with spirits. And after spending most of his life in the business, 42 years, it's not a stretch to associate him with an industry that's netting him more than 230000 a year in annual salary. The son of a factory worker and homemaker, Williams grew up in public housing, working his way up from ABC store clerk to administrator, a job he's held for the past two decades. But just what do Williams and his son, Bradley Williams, do to earn six figures? We take a look behind the scenes at the father-son duo who run the local liquor stores. Right now, this store, don't, it's not the volume it should be, but you take uh, June, July, and August. The first month this store was open, this big, it, it increased 22%. The second month, it increased 33%. And that was in all season. This was September and October. Can you imagine what it's going to do June, July, and August? It's going to nail them to the wall. And they ain't going to have time to stock it like they should. But with this much room, you can put a case and a half of it at one time. So, and that's where, that's the problem at the old uh, Warsaw Beach store. You can't put but maybe a case of it. We do it about every other year just to uh, make the customers aware of, you know, we give. We actually give back funds back. Community. Say you had 30 people in here, it would look empty. I mean, not empty, but it wouldn't look jammed. If you had 30 people at Rice and Beach, you yeah, couldn't move. Be on you couldn't move. And if you had 30 people at uh, 17th and Castle, they would look like sardines in a can. That's why we we want to take this size store, exactly this size, and put it at, at uh, 17th of Castle. The two have been credited with making New Hanover County liquor stores some of the most profitable in the state by keeping a close eye on inventory, ordering liquor before price increases, keeping stores sterile clean, and hiring helpful staff. I, I got a good staff. Everybody does a good job. They hard workers. Much of the work takes place behind the scenes as they routinely check inventory and try to keep up with the hottest selling spirits. Bradley Williams, who has followed in his father's footsteps since he turned 21, gets up before sunrise a couple days a week to process shipments from a warehouse in Raleigh where liquor is stored. While the Williams' recent salary increases might have fallen victim to bad timing, their supporters say they're worth every penny. Billy Williams is an excellent minister. Now, let me say this out of the front. The board admits that the raises given the last fiscal year were inappropriate considering the uh, financial situation, the economic situation. In the rest of the but those raises were based upon increases in profitability of the system. In hindsight, we did not give it. It seems like we're almost penalizing these folks. We're doing an excellent job. Now, we all admit the salaries are too high. Uh, I feel like they are. But I know Mr. Williams and his son do a fantastic job, and it's evident in the, in the paperwork. I mean, you can't, you can't argue with that. The stores are some of the best in the state. So I don't know why we're trying to chastise these folks so harsh. We're doing a good job. 